we're going on to all my areas out there so let's get into this um comment on the video like the video subscribe to my youtube channel share the video um if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading my email address as well as prices uh, are in the description box below so um let's get into it so the cards that i come up with are the fool knight of swords queen of cups the death card the five of cups the eight of spears or wands Three of Pentacles, right? Let me show it to y'all again. The Two of Swords, the Six of Swords, all right? And the Three of Swords, okay? So for the Aries, um, you Aries, that's interesting. A lot of you Aries uh, could be walking away from someone whom tried to play you for some sort of fool because maybe they thought that you're Aries or something. You know, I don't know what it is that they thought specifically, but they tried to play you like you were dumb, right? Thus the fool. And you Aries were playing dumb for a while just to kind of see what the person was doing. So maybe they cheated. Maybe there was some form of infidelity Maybe they maybe they were planning on leaving you at a particular time and you Aries actually caught them in the action, but you were playing dumb. And then things that the Knight of Swords is them um, basically being bold about it or them saying or them being like, nah, that's not the case. So either they were uh, blatant with it and they were bold about it, just being like, yeah, I was going to do that. Or they tried to cover themselves by covering them, tra uh, covering their tracks and be like, nah. And then the Queen of Cups is about you, Aries, being like, okay, you sure you, you, sure you wasn't trying to do that, right? Questioning them. And then the Death card in the Five of Cups represents how you somehow ended the relationship because... Or you started to look at them sideways by letting them know that you need some time to actually think about being in a relationship with them. And the Five of Cups is them, you know, the, the Five of Cups is about you thinking about it. But the Five of Cups is also about them being like, ah, you know, uh, did I do the right thing? You know, they still on, what I'm saying is that they still on some game type stuff. Don't worry, I'm gonna get to the game later. I had actually pre-recorded it, but the video was so long. The video literally was 25 minutes long, 25, plus minutes long that goes to show you just how extensively i i actually understand about the subject and manipulation and i, and I covered all of it in the video but i have to redo it because the video was too long you know what i'm saying like you know serious business that video was long but um and it would take all day to upload it but the eight of wands and the three of pentacles okay this is about how you you're you have a you have an instinctual feeling that these people are not meant to be trusted. So a lot of you Aries are like, nah, you don't trust this person. You don't trust them. Because when people start moving, you know, weird, a lot of you Aries already know. And then the Two of Swords represents how this is a situation for a lot of you Aries where you're just like, you don't know what to think about this relationship anymore because things are not clear, unfortunately. And then you have the six of, uh... oh, I got a uh, notification on my phone, sorry. But the six of swords and the three of swords. Um, so the six of swords is about you kind of not being clear as to what exactly this relationship really means. And the Three of Swords, the Three of Swords represents how this is a situation for you 
Aries is you still need a little bit of time in order for you to understand what, what time it is, right? How to think about this situation. So you Aries are just thinking right now what you're going to do, trying to stay away from them and decide if you're gonna leave this person alone. And of course, if enough time goes by, you're not gonna expect this person to wait that long. So let's clarify the three of swords. What time is it okay? So you have the eight of pentacles, the 10 of pentacles, okay? The world, right. You Aries may be thinking it may be time for you to move on because if this because if you caught this person doing something untrustworthy this you're thinking to yourselves that this person obviously wants to go so there's no point there's no point in trying to hold that person here so you might as well just let them go right and the 10 of pentacles like i said the 8 of and to specifically point it out right to be specific about it the Eight of Pentacles is about you just thinking it over, right? Ten of Pentacles is you understanding that this relationship may have peaked a long time ago. And the world is about you may be learning to let go of this person and being like, okay, maybe you should see what else is out there. As you airy should, you know. I recent, I ain't gonna say recently, you know, but, you know, had you know had something within Aries and you know sometimes y'all Aries give people the the shake and bake you know sometimes y'all Aries have people think you know y'all are, are interested in them and sometimes that that's not necessarily the case the point is the point that I'm trying to make here is regardless of to who or to what go and do your thing you know what I mean if you owe it to yourself to actually go out there and start communicating or speaking to whomever you want, that is something that you are obliged to do, you know, and don't feel bad about doing it. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. Peace, y'all.